Yo yo, it's Ringerlius here, and you are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Withering Room. Uh, last time we left off, we were uh, doing a little bit of combat training. Uh, maybe let's give this a little bit of a uh, little bit of a go, so we're back in it. Uh, let's pull the chain. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a refresher here. As long as you do not leave the room, we will light the candle, we'll pull the chain, and we will just do a little bit of combat chaining to uh, start the day. I don't know how much combat we're actually expected to do in the game, or if we're supposed to run away most of the time. Hide, because combat isn't necessarily, at least so far, hasn't really seemed to be too fluid. Kind of seems really... Uh, like, dodging is very hard to gauge when you should. And then that. Dodge there. You have a bleeding effect. And dodge. Hit him. Dodge. Oh, jeez. There's no iframes. Ah. And as soon as he starts running at you, there is, like, no way you can dodge that other than hiding. <laughs> try this again I don't know if this is supposed to be extremely difficult but like even though it's training I still kind of feel like it's a tad bit difficult here maybe I just suck okay what do we got here we got the permanent artifacts protective rings cursed rings Elegant ivory ring worn by Margaret Blackett, co-administrator of Moston Private Asylum. One learns to become comfortable in loss in the dream, which is a bit odd considering the dream is a place of immortality. Plus 10 max health, plus 25 bleed resistance. So we can wear, is, it, is that correct? We can wear four rings, is that the case? So, just put on that ring. Hopefully, maybe this helps a little bit here. We will dodge right away. Oh, dodge again. Dodge. Ah, didn't really do heavy attack. Dodge. Nope. Yep, not very quick. Doesn't, like... Okay. It's definitely not a reaction very quickly. Back. Okay, he's got it. Yeah. So, as soon as he starts running at you, there's not really much you can do. Other than hide if you have something to hide behind. Okay, so if he attacks you, hiding doesn't stop that. I bled out. Hmm. We're gonna go one more time. I would like to actually try a spell here. The dummy spell. Last time we tried this, it didn't really do very well, but we're gonna give this a go. Let's go put that at five, and then put the cleaver. That really should be an option. Let's go with one for the cleaver. And then uh, let's give the spell a try. Uh, pull the lever. Pull the lever. Let's give it a try. I don't know. We throw the spell at him. And then we go select the cleaver. He attacks the spell. We roll past him. He's going to attack us. Attacks the spell. Close the distance. So. Oh, killed that. We only took him down a little bit, but let's roll past. Nope. That didn't roll past him at all. Oh, he's running at me. Hide. There we go. Just got him. So if you go heavy attack, that didn't work. Let's try to roll past him. Roll past him. Nope. That didn't work. Roll past him. Roll. Nope. 
kill him at least. Come on, I'm just gonna battle it out. Nope, didn't work. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Um, don't want to spend all day here, so let's just move on and hopefully, let's just really hope that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to reassign this stuff. Let's go the spell at the bottom and the cleaver. Oops, have that at the top. Okay, equip that. Permanent artifact describes charm to recite whilst dodging. It momentarily transforms the caster into a spirit, rendering them impervious to all attacks. Dodge and roll adds brief period of invulnerability to curse damage spell toll to wearer. So if I select this and roll, I'm gonna accumulate I will accumulate uh, curse, it seems. But you get iframes. Huh. Put the, uh, snuff out the candle and let's get out of here. Interesting. Okay. Have a little bit of a shield buff. Quest right now. Quests. Find the first witch in the basement. Butcher the butcher surgeon. Ask the butcher surgeon in the kitchen about Mostin Mausoleum. In the kitchen. So if we mini map this. We just keep going. I'm assuming we'll hit the kitchen. Peek in here. What's in here? Marble gallery. Well. Let's hop in there and see what's in here. That's a safe zone. Okay. So I don't have to worry about much in here. What's here? Remove cover. A. Pull the cover off the mirror. Yeah. What'd that do? Other than just reveal the mirror. Nothing. Oh, who's this? Is that uh, Robert or whatever the guy's name is? Masked man, I've always loved this one. Good evening. I'd introduce myself, but people don't generally wear masks if they want their identity we didn't know. I have been here long and I scarce remember who I was previously anyway. I no longer have the patience to beat back the ever-growing throngs of animated corpses in this house. As such, I have become something of a merchant. I traffic all sorts of goods and all my inventory is always changing. What good is gold in this nightmare? A coin is a favor, save for later. Okay, so our gold coins that we pick up, I'm assuming that's what our currency is. Let's just talk to them. What would you like to talk about? Art. Boston House used to be so beautiful. The best art was sold to support its brief, unsuccessful stint as a cholera clinic. What remained are mostly recreation recreations commissioned by Alfred Mostyn that were deemed unsellable at auction. I have a soft spot for these recreations. I think some, in some cases they're even more beautiful than the originals. Perhaps I've been living in this recreation too long. House. Most, Mostyn House has three stories, although the second and third story has been sealed off in the dream. The ground floor is a fantastically decorated in the antiquated Burkwet style. The second story was where the family lived, and is supposedly even more grand. The third story is an attic, not somewhere I'd want to be in the dream. I'm sure it's somewhere truly wretched. 
Below is the basement, where the servant's quarter is located. Somewhere, something's gone wrong in the gas down there. The lights are all out. Okay. If you're curious, you can read about the Moston House in the Welsh Countryman House Book, which I've been reading. I'm sure there's a copy around here somewhere. Mask. It's a bit dramatic, isn't it? I found the mask in the attic when I was still accessible. When it was still accessible, it remains reminds me of simpler times of childhood and sunshine. Have you noticed it's always night in the dream? It feels like decades since I've seen the sun. Okay, so what can I buy from him? Blank scroll, sulfuric acid, empty jars, blue wax, yellow wax, a throwing knife, projectile. Medicinal herbs. Proper equipment can be used to reduce a healing tonic. So this is crafting material for healing. Healing item. Poison antidote. Red wax. Firework. Apprentice's candlestick. Pipe. Okay, and there's a couple things I can't afford, I think. Hmm. So I have six gold coins. All these cost like one. It's perfectly ordinary. However, it has been enchanted to create a small cloud of flame when waved in the air. Though it provides a m means to cast spells with no material, the damage is low unless used by an expert witch. Oh, the spell hole is too much. You're just not strange enough yet, child. Fire damage, poison pack, and 15 curse damage to cast her. So everything just wants to cause... If you're using magic, you're gonna get cursed. So these only cost one, and they ward off all things, it seems. Gradually heals, curse damage. Okay. Can be picked up and thrown again. Let's buy this then. And move on. Let's maybe see if we assign that to six. See the trajectory of the probable item by aiming. Okay. And I can throw it. I can pick it up. And then it's still in slot six. I just okay so if I just attack with no aim befouled head artifact a gruesome severed head the top of the skull has been sawn open when removed miasmic vapors emerge produces a poisonous gas cloud poisoning the holder and anyone nearby every five seconds okay well that seems a little odd. So we're trying to find the kitchen. Search. Scone. Take a peek here. Okay. Guest bedroom. And there's a guy with a what gun in there. Do. What to do? Forgot to set the traps. Forgot to set the traps. Peter? Well, I'm not heading into a room with a gun just yet. I got another creepy doll. I wonder if I open the door.
Will he come out of it? It's in here. Okay. Unlocked. East staircase. Let's open it. Get in there. Is that down to the basement? Search. Alice dress. Permanent light. Oh. An odd Alice in the Wonderland costume originally made in 1876 for Margaret Blackett's 15th birthday. The likelihood the wearer received half damage increased Increases with additional luck. 2% chance of having damage received. Lightweight receives 2% physical damage minus 1 speed. We'll take this, I guess. Wear it. Okay. Search this. We've got a pipe weapon. Heavy, so it does 7 damage and 12 poise. So, maybe let's think about... I'm gonna continue holding. Hmm. here rear house entrance where's the kitchen basement can't do anything with the candle we go back up maybe we need some sort of uh some sort of Candle or torch or something. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Maybe I missed. Rear house entrance. East basement staircase. Is that an up? So that door that was all. He said it was inaccessible. Banquet hall, strange bedroom, 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 ground floor, corridor. Find the first witch in the basement. Ask the butcher surgeon in the kitchen about Most and Mosley. I guess the kitchen might be upstairs on the second floor in the living area, like the where the family stayed. And then the witch is in the basement, so... Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have to deal with the dark, or am I missing something? I don't necessarily want to go in this room. I'm gonna die if I go in here. Lord Mustin won't like this. Like, I don't feel like this is a smart move. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just go to the basement. Maybe. Uh, Let's go this way. Read wrong room. Sweet Millie, dead girl. I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. Okay. Search. Medicinal herb. Okay, peek. This is a door here. Wonder if there is any kind of light source that I can pick up, or do I just literally have to explore this blind? I'm gonna go through, or maybe no. Let's let's go to the other room. Let's see uh, see if we can open a door or close open and close the door three times and then step step through so if we try that here so does that count so one two one two one two 
Hold on. Okay. Wrong room. Oh, oh. What was that? Uh, I'm taking curse damage from that. Sorry, you guys probably can't see it. Another curse damage. All I'm doing is taking curse build up here. Just by walking in the room. Some weird stuff hanging from the ceiling. Got a strange coin. If I just run. Curse rot. You have your curse tolerance. You're rotting from the inside. Use a warding. So let's use this. There's a lot of bodies starting to hang from the ceiling. So our curse is removed. Let's just try to run to the other side here, see if there's anything over here. Strange coin and a bunch of bodies are dropping. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do with this room. Let's just uh, stand by that again. Can't seem to like aim with this thing. Um, the other room is what she called it. Weird. So I got gold coins out of that. And then the stairway to upstairs is off right now. Okay, let's explore the basement even though it's dark and maybe we won't die. I have a feeling we're gonna get killed here. Okay, go through. Servants quarter C. There's gotta be some sort of light source in this game. Search. Pottery shard tool. The non-script remains of something porcelain. Can be thrown to create a distraction audible nearby in the room. About as loud as a running footstep. another door there a peek in here let's peek in here see what this is storage i yeah there's gotta be some sort of light source am i just not like i'm assuming the warden candle is a i don't want to waste that though search. There's probably something here. Something's after me. Okay, so this is definitely going to come after me. If I hide, I'm assuming they probably saw me. Maybe they didn't see me? Sounded like someone was in there. Search here. I am. I've been cursed. Open. Curiosity is no handle. Okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Um. This isn't really, uh. Straightforward here. So the storage is, looks like it's a safe zone. Is that what that means? So maybe let's open this and go through this. We're in a safe zone, even though we can't see anything. We just remove. 
remove cover. Yes. Like, can't see anything, so I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Speak to this person. I know what you're thinking. Why would this gentle be, gentleman and his dog be locked up if they hadn't done something nefarious? Surely this man murdered someone, and his great beast dog dragged the body into the lake. Well, I can assure you, we are merely victims of a cruel jape. No more. Felix. My name is Felix, and this is my noble hound, Horace. If you would like to be so kind and fetch us a rusty cage, I'm sure we can be of great use to you. You have the rusty cage key. I'm sure it was tossed somewhere smelly and disgusting down here. New quest. Find the cage key. Okay, well, we're in a safe zone right now, but at the same time... Let's search whatever this is. Medicine. And... Search this, whatever this is. Sulfuric acid, high corrosive, but ineffective in its current form. With proper equipment, could be turned into a throwable jar of acid. Experimenting with acid on corpses is what you've been up to. I'm paying you to demonstrate anatomy, not to tinker with my laboratory equipment. Okay, and then there's like case notes one. Officer Rowland Bryce, Monomouthshire Constellabury, 28th of July, 1881. Investigating the potential murder of Peter Mostyn, 35, and possible forged will leave, and possibly forged will, leaving family estate to American physician Robert Blackett. State staff reporter Peter reports Peter appearing pale and sickly before nearly a full year before death. Peter had been a severe alcoholic for seven years following the death of his father and sister. Dr. Robert Blackett and his mo daughter Margaret had been residing in Mostyn House for three years. Estate staff report that no conflicts between them, unsubstantiated rumors of an immediate intimidate of an intimate relationship between Peter and Margaret. Okay. Open whatever this is. Coin purse, permanent treasure, a cloth coin purse dried red with blood and powdered organs. Normally all possessions are lost upon death in the brain, but, purse, but this purse will safely preserve 10 coins. Room Greeks. I think she's making more of those disgusting little pouches. Save ten strange coins upon death. Search whatever this is. Healing scone. And hide. Open whatever this is. Phantom ring. Curious ring. Magical ring. The wearer is over 50% cursed. When the wearer is over 50% cursed. A faint violet glow appears around their feet. Their footsteps become much harder to hear. Per perfect for sneaking activity. It stays enchanted because these little girl sigils etched into it. How clever. Well, I might as well just put that on for now until I find anything better. Yes. I can wear four rings. Would really appreciate some sort of light source. That would be that would be pretty cool. So we're going to go back upstairs. Maybe we just missed. Oh jeez. We're gonna actually go this way, maybe, and not get hit. He can hear. Servants' quarters B. Heard something in there. What's this? Open up this. Curiously, there's no handle. 
Oh man, it would really be awesome. Servants quarters A. If I could see what I was doing. Search whatever this is. Hardy roll. Healing item. Search whatever this is. Pottery shard. Peek in here. Whatever this is. A wine cellar. It's a safe zone. So we're just going to go in there. Maybe see what's in here. Is this the first witch? Yes, it is. Ah, Nightingale. I'm sorry for our earlier misunderstanding. I am the first witch, and I run Sorrel Order. Sororal Order of the Initiate. The filthy wretch and I, through meticulous and often hazardous experiments, have come to understand much about the dream. I bestow this knowledge upon my worthy young initiates, such as yourself. How will, do we train? This will sound a bit macabre. The blood and essential organs of the dream's inhabitants hold a tremendous power. By offering them to a ritual to the entity that controls the dream, the body may permanently enhanced, may be permanently enhanced. Furthermore, worthy initiates are generally special gifts, are granted special gifts as they ascend through the ranks. In fact, you will receive a special gift after your very first offering. Here is a hunted guide and offering list you can refer to. I look forward to collaborating with you to unlock your full potential, Nightingale. Offering, talk, nothing. So, talk, what would you like to talk about? Curse. The curse is a glimpse into the traumatized heart of the dream. With its heightened perception, many strange and wonderful truths are revealed. One may even locate gateways between separate worlds. You might try gazing into a mirror while terribly cursed. It is the only way to meet the man in the mirror. I do hope you will come to appreciate the mad artistry of whatever celestial entity controls the dream. Okay. Initiates. Be careful around other initiates. Some of them have lost their minds and some turned into their back to the sororal order. The casting of spells and becoming repeatedly cursed takes a toll on one's sanity. Only one truly strong will can ascend the ranks of the order. I become strength I recommend strengthening your tolerance to the curse to avoid many issues. First witch. I was once a stranger to the dream like you. My title is accurate. After learning the occultist art from Filthy Wretch, I became the dream's first true witch. I believe I am still alive in the real world, although it becomes harder and harder to know for sure. It doesn't matter much to me, because I have so much important work to do here. The Filthy Wretch and I are collaborating on an experiment of sorts. Though careful application of offerings and blood, permanent changes can be made to the dream. We're still early in our research, but I'll be sure to let you know on how we get on. A offering, strange coin, or a corrupted finger. Both are saying no because I, probably because I don't have a corrupted finger, which I get from killing an enemy. I think. New quest: find a way to meet. The man in the mirror so i would need some curse damage i can easily obtain curse damage from going into the uh other room it seems and then i can talk and then i go to a safe zone and look into a mirror it seems so this is kind of frustrating not being able to see i almost have to like have her close by me to even like a glimpse at what I'm looking at here. How can I go on? Um so we're just gonna actually go back upstairs. Oh, wrong room. I didn't mean to. 
We're gonna go up. Back upstairs. Here. Well, at least we can see again. And then... Is this still the other room? No. So if we... One, two, three, and then we get cursed. Not like it gives us damage. Creepy as hell seeing those things fall from the ceiling. What was that? That was the ring going off, I think? Okay, so we're cursed. Is that enough? Um, your skin's all gray and stuff. Like, will the mirror work in the freaking dark? Like, I can't even see. Like, if I go in here, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong room. You know what? Let's just go back upstairs. Maybe to a room we can actually see in. That's the room with the gun. Marble gallery, safe zone. I think there's a mirror in here. Inspect. Enter the portal to nowhere. Nowhere. Inspect. Change the photograph. Yes. You have no photograph want to display. Okay. Inspect. Change photograph. Yes, you have no photograph. Speak. New arrival. It has been a while. I'd introduce myself, but I'm afraid I've forgotten who I was. Lord Nobody of Nowhere. One visitor gave me a horrific... Lord Nobody of Nowhere. I quite like that title. I am afraid to find out who I was before. Perhaps I wasn't a good person. I faintly remember things, smells, tastes, an uncanny sense of what's been somewhere that I've been some having something before. That's why I enjoy photographs. They bring back so many feelings. Have you ever seen, have you ever used a camera? It's quite simple, really. If you'd like, I have beautiful antique camera for sale. I give it to you for free, but I need coins. You see, I cannot leave this place, so I purchase photographs from budding photographers such as yourself. As such, you'll be able to make back the purchase price of the camera in no time, I'm sure. Buy and sell and talk. Talk. What do you want to know about? Nowhere. It's been it's beautiful, isn't it? No better place to spend eternity, I think. It helps that nowhere is a crossroads of sort. So I'm opening, I'm often meeting new people. Nowhere is only placed in the dream. You can get to from ev everywhere. So I can get here from everywhere, as long as there's a mirror, I'm assuming is the case. Initially, it was just me. And then my trusted crow flew into the portal. I've given him many names, but I can't seem to remember any of them for the very long. Sometime later, that old bag over there wandered in from who knows where. I can't stand her, but what can I do? She's so old that even if I threw her through the portal, she'd turn to dust. Waterfall. A false moon and a waterfall. Whoever or whatever created Nowhere clearly had a romantic soul. A girl whose name I cannot recall sometimes sits on that rock. I haven't seen her in a while though. Spirits. When you take a picture of a spirit, you capture its soul in the photograph. A girl about your age wearing a mask sold me a whole pile of photos of spirits. 
Said she was on her way to Mostyn Mausoleum, protecting something. I wonder what happened to her. Buy and sell. So I can buy a candle, a warding, I can buy the camera for just one gold coin? Or five. Is it five? It's five coins. Okay. Photographic dry plate. So a fine camera, prime prime it and take photographs with care. Photographing a spirit will trap. What is Daffod doing in this photograph? He's supposed to be laying traps for these cursed rodents. Not peering through windows. Dry plates. A thoroughly modern photographic plate from with the camera can be used to create curiously vibrant photographs. She produced most of the haunting photographs. Claims they were real ghosts. Looks like somebody's wearing a rag over the head to me, but I won't deny that they're quite stirring. First aid kit, murderous coat, floral dress, bandages, and a Bible. Well, I guess we're supposed to pick up the camera. Say, so, since you have a camera, I've got a favor to ask. My photo collection is sorely lacking in photos from the supernatural fright. Sell me photo of a spirit and I'll throw in a special extra gift. They normally can only be seen when you're cursed, but you can take a picture of them anytime. So that one phantom that was killing me the first time, maybe that'll be an easy one to get? So sell him photos. I'll go talk to the old lady. it removes curse it seems inspect the night mother remembers we're her bricks her blood her mortar give offering to activate the shrine no inspect gaze upon yourself yes just tells you what you have. Finish. Okay. Go talk to the, uh, this one. Oh, now you look familiar. No, I suppose not. Haven't had a visitor in a while, and I guess I'm overexcited. My name is Rose. Don't remember my child's but my first name, so that will have to do. Don't take anything the wrong way, but you seem like the type of girl who carries around a lot of junk that she doesn't need. Am I right? I love junk. This is the only thing keeping me sane, and it's my sh starry purgatory, in this starry purgatory. Well, somewhat sane. Better than Mr. Photographs over there, at least. I've got a heaping mound of coins, so if you've had any extra items, I'm happy to take them off your hands. Get to talk to her. Go nowhere. Can't see you too well anymore, but the twinkling lights are still beautiful. One of these days, I need to purchase a telescope and have a proper look at them. Maybe they're not even stars. Everything in this nightmare is fake, isn't it? I passed my time here resting my old bones and waiting for visitors like yourself. Unlike more Lord pictures over there, I don't want to look at photographs. They make me too sad. Rose, who am I? A fine question. I have few clues. My hands are virtually crippled with arthritis, so I suppose I spent my youth doing something meticulous. Maybe I was a seamstress. Most of my face is rotted, so hard to tell what I once looked like. But it's something distinct about my eyes. Perhaps I was a French mother. I'd like to think I had a beautiful I was beautiful in my youth. And I will believe so until someone presents me with real evidence that I wasn't. Junk? A young girl like you shouldn't be running around with a bunch of tr silly trinkets clanging around in her pockets. Amassing a pile of trinkets and novelties is an old lady's. I've purchased many strange and unique items over the years. 
I bought a pair of spectacles right off a young girl's face. She was in dire need of coin and seemingly in a quite hurry. I bought a geranium with real spider inside from a filthy man wearing a sheet. I bought a necklace made of fingers for my frightening young woman in rags. I even once purchased a pair of trousers from a young man with a dog. Mostly, he have even taken them off. Don't tell Mr. Old Mr. Photographs about that one. I once even purchased a pair of trousers from a young man with a dog. Mostly, so he'd have to take them off. Okay, well that's kind of creepy. And then what does she sell? Or coin? I sell, so I would have to sell. Um, I'm not selling anything right now. Maybe later. Take a photograph of spirits. Strange bedroom, marble gallery. Storage. Not too sure. Is there a light source of some kind? He doesn't sell any light sources. She didn't. She just buys. Strange bedroom. I'll just go there. West. So the butcher surgeon in the in the kitchen, which I haven't found in the kitchen yet. Felix wants out. Somewhere disgusting. So obviously some sort of like bathroom or like sewer pipe or something I guess and then the lord of nobody wants a picture of a spirit which if I equip the camera set that for prime prime it and take photographs here, photographing a spirit problem. So, where was that ghost? Was that ghost when I was before, like, the witch killed me? Or the wretch killed me? Or was that here? Bedroom A. Bedroom B. I can get fingers. They said it was easier to kill the bed one. So if I just go with my pipe and hit him, let's get a finger. Search the body. Bandage, healing item, gauze for wrapping wounds, heals any bleeding buildup and the bleeding status effect. Why are the car corpses bleeding? There is no sign of livor mortis. The blood, though foul smelling and discolored, flows as if it were a living body. Zombie, color of offering corrupted finger, covering them up with a sheet doesn't cover up the smell. 
We got red wax, corrupted finger, and a treasure. What's in here? So two more blue axes. Cool. Spirit theory and practice two. There are several well-known techniques to deal with rogue or unwanted spirit. Warding candles, while alight, inhibit their movement. Carefully observe the ghost and sneak past it. Fearing the holy energy of our Lord, spirits can be stopped and pushed by holy Bible, holding out a Bible. Cool. Photographing a spirit will capture it, leaving it behind cursed energy on the floor. Intriguing enough, warding candles also inhibit the movement of enchanted armor. Inhibit the movement of enchanted armor. This is a clear sign that a spirit is an inanimating force behind such magic. Okay. Okay. So, we got a corrupted finger, so there was something that we could buy with that or upgrade with that, but in here. This guy was just too much for us. The ghost? Can't remember. The occult library. Maybe we can, uh... Make some spells? Door hex spell. Just get another armor. I'll get a door hex and then another armor. Every time we roll, we take a little bit of curse. Inspect this. Passage under the curio cabinet. Crawl through it? Yes. Oh, so it's the same. I can't. Safe zone. Marble gallery. It's also a safe zone. Guest bedroom, merchant bedroom. Brew house. Really, like, the basement, like, is that where we're supposed to go? And if we're supposed to go down there. Is it just supposed to be black? And you can't see, or... What the hell? Kinda seems a little weird. And then there's a guy with a gun in here, I believe. But why am I still here? What's oh, outside? Inspect. Wrap the finger off of that. And that allows us to store another item, I believe. Oh, I need two fingers. Okay. Is this the mausoleum? Hedge maze. Oh, oh, what's this? Speak. 
I swear, the church was only this way, but it's only a wall. Oh, do you forgive me? Sometimes I forget that I am a damnable shadow, world rather than the real one. I am Vicar St. Ellis, is nearby parish's church. I am the Vicar of St. Ellis's nearby parish church. Or at least I used to be... It used to be nearby. It feels like it has been long since I had last seen it. Never mind all that. I've been waiting in the house recently. Have you... You've been in the house recently. Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? As a warrior of Christ, I have once thought to save the poor souls in there. Now I wish to only escape. You may think that it cowardly, but spend a few more nights and you'll see. The lamp. You see yourself sharing my lamp? I would be happy to give it to you, but I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ and not a, in league with the foul beast that in that house. Bring me the corrupted heart of one of those hefty poisons spewing sheets covering the abomination in there. Corrupted heart. Okay, so I gotta kill that thing with the sheet to get a lamp to the basement. Gotcha. Basement. Basement is absolutely boiling with sinful characters. For one, there's the first witch and her initiates. Do not, under any circumstances, be tempted to join her foul coven. I believe the dream is a test from God to see how we might behave if an eternal life. Harnessing the power of demons to cast spells does not sound like something some some sort of activity that would please our lord and savior. Secondly, the foul butcher surgeon besides resides down there. A despicable man, I've seen him go in and out of the hedge maze several times. He claims to be searching most of mausoleum for corpses to an an animize. What is his real intention? I don't know, but you should ask him if you see him. Hedge maze. The Mostyn Hedge Maze used to be one of my favorite spots for contemplation. It seems to have been hexed recently, and I simply cannot find a way through anymore. Seeing though such illusions, seeing through such illusions required one to be significantly cursed, something I personally cannot abide. However, is, whoever is in there does not want visitors. The Mostyn Mausoleum sits at the center of the maze. Perhaps whoever hexed the hedge maze has discovered something there. Spirits. In a dream, spirits are trickly fellows to deal with. One cannot even see them unless cursed, and being cursed is rather unpleasant state to be in. In the real world, I'd rely upon my trusty Bible for protection, but in the dream, surprisingly, a camera is the best weapon. They say a photograph can capture a person's soul. Well. Here in the dream, that seems to be true, at least for those damnable phantoms that flit about. Cameras are rare. I'd see a girl about a young age with one the other night. She took my picture and said she was going to sell it to a man in the mirror. Absolutely round behind it bent. Absolutely round the bend, I think. She looked hideously cursed as well. No doubt she was seeing things. Interesting. Interesting. So, in the hedge maze is the mausoleum. We need to find the butcher surgeon, which was the, the guy you mentioned, I guess, with the, uh... Yeah. In the kitchen about mausoleum. key and somewhere disgusting lord of nobody wants a photograph as a spirit and i have to in order to get the lamp i have to kill one of those sheep creatures which is not going to be easy i am not too good at this combat Yeah. 
Marble Gallery. Fighting. Aim. Throw it at her. Oh, that did nothing. Gotcha. And then we're gonna go. I'm gonna go with the pipe wrench. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Heavy attack. Roll past her if I can. Have you attack again? Roll away. Oh, some damage there. Okay, so this one's not too bad to kill. Got him. Search body. Corrupted heart. The enlarged heart of a living corpse. Some of the original cholera victims have slowly grown larger over the years. Their bodies have become twisted and grotesque, mo almost inhuman. Is it the dream forgetting that they originally looked like? Beast zombie. Cholera patient offering corrupted heart. Dream usually unusually quite accurate. So why are these hideous distorted and enlarged? Blank scroll crafting and the heart. So we killed one of those sheet monsters. So let's go back and get the lantern. Sharing, staring at my lamp. I would be happy to give it to you, but I need proof of the Valiant Warrior. Bring me a corrupted heart. Give him the corrupted heart. Excellent. You are indeed a worthy of this lamp. Use it well. Well, that's nice. Use left hand item. LT. So I have to hold. If I hold that, nice. Oh, it's like a trigger. I don't have to hold. Does that do anything? Does it run out? Rusty old lamp providing moderate light. The lamp seemed to burn indefinitely, never actually consuming oil. Highly convenient, if unrealistic. Okay, good. Sweet. That's why I looked. Okay, so we got the lamp, so now we can see in the basement at least. Butcher surgeon is in the mausoleum, in the kitchen about the mausoleum. Felix wants the cage key. I need to take a picture of a spirit. Read Hedge Mage Shopping List. Critical. Spirit twigs, warding candles, useful camera and dry photographic plates, Bible, curse explorer ring, ring of perception. Hedge Mage Shopping List. Well, I have a spirit twig and a 
morning candle. Hide behind things. What is that? Curse? Nothing over here. Okay, so let's just go in here. Maybe chill out a second. Here or something, let's hide. Okay, so there's a spirit and a knight. I think the knight, it said the knights are also spirits. So if we use a warding candle. And then we want to use a camera. Hmm. They move fast. So I want to attack them from behind. I don't know if the spirit. Hmm. Actually, select that. I'm gonna let them pass by again. Pop out. And then use the item. Nope. Oh. Aim, shoot. Captured a spirit with the camera. And then I'm assuming the knight is going to attack. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um, if I open and drop a warding candle. I don't really have much of a ranged weapon. I feel like his sword is probably longer. Okay, so I just... Oh, no, I got both of them. And I'm taking a bunch of curse. So I got both of them with a camera. Spectral remains. Offering. A fine phantom dusting, slightly hot to the touch. Miles Creighton tells us that when trapped, an apparition's spiritual energy is converted into a physical mass. It may look like dust, but what you are seeing is a desperate entity's last hope to escape to an earthly prison snuffed out. Ghost. Vicar. Offering special remains. Spectral remain. An imposter. He certainly couldn't be the Saint Vicar of Saint Ellis. That's me. Ah. Interesting. So I got also a coins and a spirit twig. Search the coffin. A burnt ring. Protective ring. A blackened ring thoroughly charred in a flat fire. After those ungrateful miners set fire to our family home and burnt my dear sweet sister in it, I found her wedding ring is still wrapped around her carbonized finger. Receive 50% less fire damage. Didn't I resource the body? So when you trap a soul... Zero out of zero. What does that mean? Does that mean I can't take another picture? What's this? Frog's eye ring. Protective ring. A ring set with a frog's eye preserved within. Receive 30% less poison buildup. 5% poison build up to melee attack. Okay. So we've gotten a photograph now. 
trapped a soul. So we can sell a picture to our boy in the zone. Now I am cursed like holy right now. So I can see things. Oh, cursed rot. What is this? Whoa. I'm taking health, damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Taking damage. I'm probably going to die. So. Whoa. So I removed my curse, I dropped a warning candle, and that... What the heck? Was that causing curse? Um, my health, I think, slowly regenerates. I think. Kind of looked like it just bumped up. Or does the warding want uh, that give me some health bonus? Curse damage no longer stays close to it, faster heals. Okay. And then we're also going to establish another spell for armor. With the fire damage for now. Um, we will armor up. Now let's use it. Okay. And then we will swap to pipe. Okay, so those things do cause curse. Search. Warding candle, a spirit twig. Weird. Is that as much as we can explore? It's gotta be something else. Guess not. Weird. Must be closed off. So, let's go. Sell a photograph. Get cursed. to a mirror which there is one in here I believe so let's These quarters no I want the uh, safe zone torch I think there's a mirror in here Let's go. Yep. And inspect the mirror. Let's go into the nowhere. Talk to him. Lord of nobody. Buy and sell. Well, I can sell a picture. Five gold coins. This ghost gives me chills. Curious, vibrant photograph. 
This photo positively gives me the shivers. For your reward, take this perception codex. This will give let you see spirits from further away without being cursed. It also means that you will be less cursed to come visit. Okay. Cool. Don't even know exactly how cursed I have to be originally to get here. Looks like my health meter has gone up a bit. Maybe that's just because of the uh, armor spell. So... This is giving him my photograph just display one randomly? No. So... Now... Let's go back to the basement. Maybe we can see. So he needs, we need to find a key for him to escape. It's in a place that's disgusting. So some sort of like sewer pipe or some sort of toilet or that's, that's kind of where my mind goes to. So we know there's an enemy here. It's in here. Here an enemy in there. It's in here. Open this. Seriously, it has no handle. So we'll probably have to find some sort of handle. Open this. Critical ring. Contingent ring. Times two. There's two of them. An ancient Byzantine ring. Any damage dealt by the wearer has a chance to be doubled. The chances scales with luck. What was a little yellow flash just now? How curious. 7% chance of doubling damage dealt. Interesting. take off the burnt ring and we will put on one of these critical rings greatly reduces the amount of curse required do i have to equip this greatly reduces receive spirits magical trap Oh, I can just, I can just equip it. Okay. Okay. Servants quarters A. Mine cellar is a safe zone. That's where the wretch was. Let's hide here. Must be careful with fire. So I'm assuming she does fire damage. Just out. What's in here? Servant's bathroom. That sounds promising. Let's go in there. Close the door. Let's search. Poison antidote. That looks like an enemy right in front of me. Which is exactly what that is. Maybe let's not engage just yet. That's also an enemy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to see if we can get out of the way. Okay. Attack. Let's attack. Poison. You are poisoned. Finding healing item. So if I... Probably shouldn't have stayed there, but I didn't want to get attacked by the other one. So the antidote right there, I wonder how long. Let's take it. And attack. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Come on, let's come on. I got this. Okay, I got him. Poison leaf crafting. So this probably helps. Proper equipment. Poison could be just. Build 
into a weapon. Search. First aid kit. Inspect the toilet. Reach into the toilet. Yes. You found the rusted cage. I knew I was going to have to look in this toilet for something. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go back. I don't need to attack them. Okay. That's maybe P. Okay. I feel like... I might have messed up there. But we're going to keep going. We... Oh jeez, okay, we're gonna... Oh jeez, oh jeez! Okay, she's after me. I have some health, that's heavy attack. Ah! Roll. Roll. Attack, attack. Oh, my curse is like... Super duper. Does she heal me at all? Offering. Let's, let's let's do this. Level zero. Warding. Immunity. Vigor. Curse tolerance. Bleed tolerance. Or vigor. Or can someone come to rot? I want to better perceive ghosts and discover additional secrets. Absorb more bleeding parallel. So I kind of want this one. The immunity. Wonder to survive longer in the dream. So I'm gonna go immunity. Now level one, ascended, strengthen your body. Congratulations you on your first offering. Your reward is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. The bookshelf in the room connects directly to another part of the house. Very convenient. Your next reward will be at level five. In advanced grimoire, that will let you create new spells. I look forward to your next offering, Initiate. So I need more Corrupted Fingers. Find yourself running out of bows to harvest Orgus from. You need to begin a new night. All of your targets will be revived to be hunted once more. Dying is one way to start a new night, but it comes with an obvious downsides. Search for other blue bookshelves you might find a different way. So I just leveled up. Find another blue bookshelf secret passage. Read Outcast Diary 1885. Use secret passage. Search. Got another couple of warden candles. Let's search the bag. Parala paralysis leaf a neurotoxin leaf of unknown origin with proper equipment it can be used to create paralyzing fluid when I felt my fingers on me I froze up, I couldn't move it was just a few seconds but I felt like hours so there's this more medicinal herbs okay let's read the outcast diary Outcast Diary, 1885. Yes, I'm a... a Calvinist? But that's not so unusual. Not compared to the occult games that Unholy Doctor and his mongrel daughter have cocked. It was not my fault that I was stricken with cholera. But it is my fault that I dragged myself from this irresistible grace of God Christ into this den of debauchery. But I could not stand the putrid waste pouring from my mortal frame one minute longer. So I here, so here I am. That was the outcast diary. Okay. There's another mirror here. Pull off the mirror cover. Inspect. So, corrupted heart. Let's do it. You've unlocked one new item remembrance slot. 
What do I want to remember? Probably, like, wearable stuff, right? Like, that would make sense. Like, the, uh, the critical ring. Or the one that actually causes percent violent here's eight. The one that causes iframes is already a permanent. Okay, so let's get the critical ring. And then we will move on. Okay. Sweet. Well there we go. We just uh, leveled up for the first time and uh, definitely progressed fairly well. So we'll see you next time on The Wrench Feels Like Playing Withering Room.